guys, I'm here today going to make one of my husband's favorite pastas that I make for him. We are going to need today, um, and remember please that I live in Costa Rica, so um, names on packages can be in Spanish, but we're going to use about a half of this spaghetti here. Normally we do angel hair. Unfortunately, I can't really find that here. I have some basil that I'm getting ready to chop. I have some mozzarella already chopped, about a third of a stick of butter, some minced garlic. I'm not going to cut any up. I've been feeling under the weather. Normally I would use Italian seasoned bread, breadcrumbs. Unfortunately, I only have seasoned breadcrumbs. I'm going to go ahead and use those. Salt and pepper, and let's get started. Over here, I have my water going. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. Um, get that going to boiling. And in my pan here, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. So let me go ahead and get the items in. I'll show you what it looks like. Actually missing one of the most important ingredients, olive oil. So gone ahead and put the olive oil, excuse me, olive oil in the pan. Going ahead and putting that on high. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some minced garlic as well as the butter and get that to be starting to fry. Hey guys, so you see this is melting quite well at this time. Um, butter is almost melted. Everything's going good here. What I'm gonna be doing next is going ahead and um, adding in some breadcrumbs. Once I add in these breadcrumbs, we're gonna go ahead and stir it really well. Um, make it fry when it gets to be a darker brown is when we'll take it out. Once you put the breadcrumbs in, you're gonna just be mixing this up. This is where you really need to pay attention because of course, it's gonna absorb all of the oils and you don't want it to stick to the pan. So mix it up really well. Once the breadcrumbs start to becoming darker brown, um, that is definitely when you're going to want to go ahead and remove those, put them in a bowl to the side. First, to go ahead and take place in the next step here. So you can see that those are darkening up really well. I'll be taking these off in just a second. Okay, hey guys, so my pot is almost boiling. You have the noodles out that we're going to go ahead and use. Um, for this recipe, I'm going to go ahead and get those in. Bowling, they'll go on about four minutes. One more little thing that I'm going to add in is just a few little sun-ripened tomatoes. I like the sun-ripened tomatoes, but you can also put um, quartered tomatoes if you wish to do so. Hey guys, pasta is ready to come out. When we do take the pasta out, um, you do want to leave just a little bit of the water that you cook the pasta in and then place it back on the stove. Guys, the pasta is in just a little bit of water. What we're gonna do is go ahead and add just a tiny bit of the olive oil once again. Just a tiny bit there. You can go ahead and stir that up a little bit. Once you've stirred that, it is time now to add all of your other ingredients. So for example, we're gonna go ahead and add the breadcrumbs in here, or the crumbs, I would say. And then you're also going to be adding all of your pre-made um, items that needed to be cut up. I'm having to do this one-handed, but let's see. Once you have all of the ingredients in there, we're going to go ahead and mix this up. Here's the completed pasta, ready for dinner tonight. 